Folks, if you've been watching the stock market in 2025, you already know that artificial intelligence isn't just a passing trend, it's the biggest technological transformation of our time. Companies that can harness the power of AI to solve real-world problems are already attracting billions in investment and reshaping entire industries. But while the mega-cap names like NVIDIA and Microsoft have grabbed most of the spotlight, savvy investors know that the real upside often lies in lesser-known, undervalued players, stocks flying under the radar today that could explode tomorrow. And that's exactly what I'm going to tell you today. In this video, I'm going to tell you about two AI stocks that are still cheap, still early, and still packed with potential to deliver major gains if you act before the rest of Wall Street catches on. So, if you want to position yourself early in companies that could deliver massive gains ahead, make sure to watch this video till the end. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on the hottest stocks in the market. Let's aim for 100 likes on this video so more people can reach and benefit from this info. And remember folks, this video is for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not a financial advice. Make sure to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Now let's get into it. The first stock on our list is SoundHound AI, trading under the ticker symbol SOUN on the NASDAQ. Currently priced around $12.58 per share, this company might appear like a modestly priced small cap stock at first glance, but it has the potential to become a major force in the world of artificial intelligence. What makes SoundHound AI so compelling is its specialized focus in one of the most critical and transformative areas of AI, speech recognition technology. And unlike the familiar but often frustrating experiences we've all had with legacy systems like Siri, Alexa, or even Google Assistant, SoundHound's tech stands out for being vastly more accurate, context-aware, and impressively human-like. This isn't just another speech-to-text utility. It's a voice AI engine that actually understands, processes, and interacts in a manner that feels intuitive, precise, and fast. The company's vision is bold, to bring human-level conversational AI to every digital interaction. Whether it's ordering food, making an inquiry while driving, or getting assistance in a healthcare setting, SoundHound aims to be the invisible layer that makes the conversation seamless, intelligent, and scalable. SoundHound AI's rise has been nothing short of remarkable, given how young it is in public markets. Since going public, the company has leaned hard into vertical markets where voice-enabled interfaces can provide immediate business value. A prime example is its strong presence in the restaurant industry. SoundHound's voice assistants are already live in numerous drive through lanes, taking customer orders with speed and accuracy, reducing wait times, and helping restaurants cut back on labor costs without sacrificing service quality. Then there's the automotive industry, where SoundHound has built deep integrations with manufacturers to bring natural voice interaction into the cabin, something increasingly essential in an age of connected vehicles. But what really sets SoundHound apart is its platform's flexibility and scalability. The core architecture is built in a way that allows it to be deployed across industries ranging from customer service centers to healthcare providers to finance firms looking to automate frontline interactions. This sort of versatility significantly broadens the company's total addressable market and gives it multiple levers for long-term growth. The company's recent financial performance reinforces that growth narrative. In Q1, SoundHound AI delivered revenue of $29.1 million a stunning 151% increase year over year. That kind of top-line expansion is rare even among hot tech startups, and it shows just how rapidly SoundHound solutions are being adopted. What's even more impressive is that this growth isn't just theoretical or based on hype. It's supported by a real and expanding customer base, and the company's full-year guidance paints a similarly optimistic picture. For 2025, SoundHound expects revenue to land somewhere between $157 million and $177 million, nearly doubling from its 2024 figures. Those numbers aren't pulled from thin air either. At the end of 2024, the company already had a revenue backlog of $1.2 billion, compared to just $85 million in revenue for the entire 2024 fiscal year. That enormous backlog speaks volumes about customer confidence and long-term demand for its technology. These are not just small experimental contracts. They are multi-year commitments that suggest major institutional buy-in. Of course, with that kind of growth comes some financial turbulence. Like many early-stage tech companies, SoundHound is still operating at a loss as it invests heavily in product development, sales infrastructure, and marketing. Its adjusted EBITDA for the most recent quarter showed a loss of $22.2 million. The company spent $24.8 million on research and development, a 66% jump year over year. Sales and marketing expenses climbed 117% to $12 million, while general and administrative expenses rose 79% to $18.4 million. These aren't necessarily red flags, 
but rather signs that the company is building aggressively while it captures market share in a space that could soon become extremely competitive. From a strategic standpoint, this early stage investment makes sense. With $246 million in cash and no debt on the balance sheet, SoundHound has the liquidity to pursue growth without the pressure of immediate profitability. Importantly, the company's cash burn improved year over year, with net cash used in operations declining 13%, indicating that management is being careful even as it scales. Even with this impressive performance and growth outlook, SoundHound's stock still isn't getting the level of attention or premium valuation you might expect. Currently trading at roughly 40 times sales, it's clearly valued as a growth stock, but this valuation is actually modest when put in context. Most high-growth software companies with less explosive revenue growth are trading in the 10x to 20x sales range, but if SoundHound simply hits its projected 2025 numbers, that multiple could be cut in half within a year. In essence, there's only about 12 months of growth priced into this stock right now. That means if the company overdelivers or even just meets expectations, investors could see substantial upside as the market begins to price in its longer-term revenue potential. With an existing backlog several times larger than its current revenue base and major industry partners in place, the setup for long-term value creation looks incredibly compelling. And it's not just about future revenue. The quality of the business pipeline matters too. When you look at SoundHound's current deployments and pilot programs across industries like healthcare and finance, it becomes evident that this is a company with the potential to become the voice interface standard in enterprise software. It's not a niche tool. It's aiming to be the default interface for a wide range of AI-driven applications. If the company continues to close these high-value contracts and transitions from proof-of-concept to enterprise-wide deployments, the growth trajectory could accelerate even faster than the current projections suggest. Given all of this, SoundHound AI represents the kind of asymmetric opportunity that long-term investors dream about. High risk, yes, but with the potential for very high reward. For those willing to be patient and ride out the volatility, Sayun could be one of the standout performers of the AI revolution. The second stock on our list is Hewlett Packard Enterprise Company, trading under the ticker symbol HPE on the New York Stock Exchange. At first glance, this might seem like an unusual pick for a video focused on undervalued AI stocks. After all, HPE is often viewed as an old-school tech company, a legacy IT provider known more for servers and enterprise storage than cutting-edge innovation. But that perception is quickly changing and investors who dig deeper will see that HPE is quietly becoming a foundational player in the AI infrastructure space. Currently trading at $20.61 per share, HPE offers something extremely rare in the current AI market, meaningful exposure to the AI boom at a value-oriented price. With a forward PE ratio of just 9.4x, this stock is priced like a mature industrial company not one that just posted over $1 billion in AI systems revenue and is sitting on a multi-billion dollar AI order backlog. That disconnect between fundamentals and valuation presents an opportunity. The company has become a go-to supplier of the hardware and services needed to train and run advanced AI models at scale. In the first quarter of 2025 alone, HPE booked $1.6 billion in new AI systems orders, which brought its cumulative AI order total to a whopping $8.3 billion. That figure isn't just impressive, it's a sign that HPE is becoming indispensable to enterprise clients trying to modernize their operations with AI. Even more telling is that around 70% of those new orders were tied to the latest generation of NVIDIA's as Blackwell GPUs, the cutting-edge chips that are enabling the next wave of AI performance breakthroughs. HPE is among the few companies with the technical and logistical capacity to build and deliver entire systems around these powerful processors, putting it right at the heart of the AI infrastructure boom. Looking forward, HPE expects AI system revenue to accelerate meaningfully in the second half of 2025, as shipments of NVIDIA GV200 systems ramp up. But it's not just about hardware. HPE's enterprise AI orders increased 40% year-over-year, showing that more companies are moving from testing to full-scale AI deployment. And while most investors might think of HPE as purely hardware-driven, the company has been making strong inroads into cloud services and hybrid infrastructure through its GreenLake platform. GreenLake, HPE's as-a-service cloud and data platform, now serves over 42,000 customers and is generating rapidly growing annual recurring revenue, currently sitting at $2.2 billion, up 47% year-over-year. That shift to more predictable, subscription-like revenue streams makes HPE not just more stable, but also more attractive to long-term investors. Financially, HPE is holding up well, despite heavy investments in AI and cloud. The company reported $7.6 billion in total revenue in Q1, a 7% increase year over year. AI system revenue accounted for over $1 billion of that total, up from $900 million in the prior quarter. 
indicating strong sequential momentum. Its server business, still a major pillar, brought in $4.1 billion, up 7% year over year. The hybrid cloud segment brought in $1.5 billion, representing 15% growth, while the intelligent edge business grew 8% to $1.2 billion. These diverse growth drivers show that HPE isn't putting all its chips on one AI play. It's building an ecosystem of services and products that feed into each other. On the profitability side, HPE's non-GAAP diluted earnings per share came in at $0.38, cents, ahead of expectations. Operating margins stood at 8%, which was down slightly year over year, but still healthy for a company undergoing this kind of transformation. The company did report a gap net loss per share of $0.82, cents, primarily due to a non-cash goodwill impairment charge, not operational weakness. Yes, the company had negative free cash flow of $847 million in Q1, but that's largely due to front-loaded investments and timing issues, not a sign of long-term financial stress. The big takeaway here is that HPE is doing what legacy tech companies must do to stay relevant. It's reinvesting aggressively into high-growth segments while maintaining operational discipline. And it's working. As more enterprises embrace AI across their operations, demand for the kind of scalable, secure, and high-performance infrastructure that HPE provides will only increase. Combine that with the company's rock-solid relationships with enterprise clients, its long-term contracts, and a growing service-based business model, and you have the ingredients for sustainable, profitable growth. Analysts have taken notice, too. Morgan Stanley's MetaMarshall has maintained a hold rating. Across the board, the average upside potential sits around 28.1%, though that figure could easily shift upward as the company begins converting more of its AI backlog into recognized revenue in the second half of the year. What's important to remember is that HPE provides the backbone for AI, not flashy consumer-facing applications, but the deep infrastructure that makes it all work. And in many ways, that makes HPE one of the most durable and underappreciated AI plays in the market today. To wrap things up, if you're looking for real, actionable AI opportunities beyond the usual suspects, both SoundHound AI and Hewlett Packard Enterprise deserve your full attention. And the best part? Both are still trading at levels that leave significant room for upside. These are the types of stocks you want to get in on before the rest of the market catches up. So if you're serious about riding the AI wave, now's the time to act. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more deep dives into high potential stocks with explosive potential, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell for notifications so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments which of these stocks you're watching or holding. And stay tuned, because we've got more exciting picks coming your way soon.